What's up, DHG family? And welcome back to our channel. It's your girl, DHG Ari. Your boy, DHG Hato. Why are you so calm today? Yeah, I'm okay, anyways, y'all, as y'all can see from the title, y'all see that we got a cooking vlog. Everybody has been asking us to do cooking videos for forever. As most of you know, we're partially vegan. What are you eating? Are you eating my son's food? Anyways, y'all. As some of you may know, or you may not know, we are partially vegan, I which hear, I means... I want to hear a that partially vegan. People ask us this all the time. We are mainly, predominantly <laughs> vegans, but we're not held back to what we can't eat. The only thing we you will not see us eating is pork, catfish, shrimp, shrimp crab, none of that. Anything mm -hmm. that is say in Leviticus, we ain't touching, buddy. Like, if we want to go and see what the new trail burger tastes like. We're gonna see what the trail burger tastes like. If we wanna eat some raisin canes, chicken fingers, we will. We just don't eat it all the time or even really often. We really don't eat meat often. We like to give ourselves a break and like chill out from that type of stuff because it is really heavy on our stomachs and you know. I mean, but hey, it might not be for you, so hey. It's just know. for us. This is just it's, our personal preference. This is what we doing, you know. I, I can honestly say from changing the way we eat, I dookie every day now. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not backed up. Mm -hmm. I have not had a stomach ache since I changed my diet. Headache stopped. Really don't have mucus like that much. When yeah. I do get mucus, it's like after I eat. Ugh. Trap phone. Spam risk. Colin, we're trying to do a video. Like when I do get mucus and stuff like that, it's like right after we go and eat like some canes. Yeah, so like, like we know what it's from. Exactly. So as long as you can pinpoint what foods do what, you know what I'm saying? That's like a good sign of things. Yeah, exactly. Long story short, we're vegan most of the time. I'm gonna show y'all like a little vegan recipe that we like. This All right, first thing first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the drink, cause I'm making the drink. Today we're gonna be making ginger limeade. You know what I'm saying? So basically what you're gonna need to start, you need uh, five to six limes. Uh, I say one to two oranges. <laughs> and then some, what is funny about this? And some ginger, you know what I'm saying? About a palm side ginger. Now with the ginger, I say be extra cautious because if you put too much ginger, it, you don't feel the burn. Why is it spicy? <coughs> you know, um, for the sweetener, we'll be using some honey and some agave. So first thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna get four cups of water. This is our kettle, it's electric. Yeah, we're gonna start heating up four cups of water for the ginger, cause you gotta steep the ginger. So lately, he been acting like a picky eater. We know he likes avocado toast, he eats it all the time. He knows he likes avocado toast, he just don't wanna eat it. You want them chips, that's what you want. These chips might even bust them like that. Like, if he ever tastes what Doritos taste like, he'll go crazy. Look at you. Step one, we're gonna juicify them lemons. <laughs> we're gonna put some music. You can do it, put your back. You can do it, put your back into it. Basically, what you're doing right here is you're getting them juices for them. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Okay, we gotta get that out. <laughs> Basically what we doing, we warming it up. You know what I'm saying? We getting them juices flowing. Step two, we're gonna get the skin off the ginger, okay? We're gonna go over here by the trash can. We're gonna get the skin off the ginger. It's kind of like a potato. If you have not watched our last video, make sure to go watch that. This video is funny. This is how the ginger looks as of now. You don't have to make it all pretty and get all the creeps and crannies, cause now you finna chop it up. Really? The, the size, it all depends on what tools you have. This is the tool we have to, um, what you call it, steeping? Um, Not steeping. To like break it apart. This is a garlic filler. So you put the garlic in here and you squeeze it and it comes out of the little hole. Well, basically we're doing, we like squeezing it and getting the juices pumping, you know? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> <It's spicy. coughs> That's why you don't wanna put too much in the drink, boy. Cause it's gonna burn your tongue. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't think they want to come eat it. Hey, y'all come down below. Y'all eating at our house? You need to clean. Look, trust me. When, when we got guests, we don't, we don't treat it like that. You know what I'm saying? We, we just trying to. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> End of the day, when you eat food, bro, you eat food to heal the body. Not just for the taste. Because there's food out there that tastes good. Look, he smell that ginger. Well, you, you don't want none of that now. They, bro, all this food tastes good like cheese. 
Cheese, 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 bro. It tastes so good, but it's not good for your body, bro. Versus this, like, yeah, it's a little spicy, but it's like anti-inflammatory. It's like an antibiotic, ain't it? Yeah. It, it like, it, just Google the health of all this food, and it's basically medicine. We finna heal the body today. Why would God give us this food if it wasn't good for our body? Exactly. Finch to take this little thing, whatever you call it, we're gonna put it in here. A mixer. <laughs> we're gonna put it inside of there, and basically, you'll see what this is about to do. See the juice dripping out? That's basically what we want. Rinse, wash, repeat. Rinse, wash, repeat. All right, now we have our hot slash boiling water. That ginger, put it in there. Basically, it's gonna break up that ginger. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna loosen up them flavors. Ginger. Ginger water. Ginger uh, water. With the ginger water. Exactly. It's like making tea. You wanna steep the tea bags with the water. Yeah. Let that sit about 10 minutes. <clears throat> You gotta get the lemon cut. You ain't gonna cut them in half, man. Nothing too serious. You gave me the dolo knife. That one works. I should not have to fight with this line. Let me cut. Got what this thing called? A juicer. Can I juice it? I love juicing them. Look at all that juice, man. These are some juicy lemons. It take a man Five. to juice. Making my juice. Put a lime in there. It's really up to you if you want to put the little floaty stuff in there. I mean, I don't, but I do sometimes. But today, I don't want it. Next up, orange thyme. Yeah, I'm really going off the dome, man. I know it's supposed to be six, five or six. I'm going off the dome with the oranges. I'm going off the dome with the ginger, but I mean, you can always adjust to your tasting. What the? But look, look, you gonna like it when you taste it. <laughs> yeah. See? Oh, now you want some? Mm hmm. You just being picky for no reason. Oh, my fault. No, no. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, mm -hmm. like this for him. <laughs> hey, man. He don't want to Here, here, look. You eat it like this. Nothing goes a waste over here. Nope. Now what we finna do. Oh, is there another way to do this? Hmm. I don't know. Like if they don't have this net at their house. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can just get like a um anything to catch stuff. Yeah, you just like. need to catch it. You don't want none of that ginger, because if ginger sits in here, boy, it just like to take spicy. over. Did I tell them how much water to boil? I don't think so. So you boil four cups of water, now you're gonna pour another four cups of water in there, but it doesn't have to be boiled. You only boil the you only boil the first water to get the uh, ginger juices pumping, you know? Take some honey. No measure. This is not the main uh, sweetener, because it takes a whole lot of honey to uh, sweeten. sweeten stuff sometimes. So. And we're gonna take some of that agave. Nectar, what is it? Clack 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 cactus. cactus? I think it's like a cactus or something. Gonna put some of that in there. This is our main sweetener, agave. We don't use sugar, we use agave. Gonna put a couple pumps in there. You think you can use a sugar in here or you think it's the best with agave? I don't know. Okay, put more I think this is the best part because I always put my lips on it. <coughs> oh! That's why I said don't put too much ginger. Yeah, that's how I like it though. I want it like kick. You know? I like put more water in there. <laughs> Do you need more water? Mm. Nah, I think I, I like it like this. Because when it get cold and it got that little kick, it's like, I don't know what it reminds me of. Like mint? It's not a... Hmm. You already taste it? it? I don't like this juice. I don't like juice. It actually tastes good. It's like tingly. Yeah, like a kick. Yeah, it's like a little cayenne, like in a yeah, juice or something. That's what I'm saying. That's why it I tastes like good, it. though, y'all. It really is good. I just don't drink juice like that. Now imagine when it gets cold, though. Mm. Bust imagine, it. Like, imagine some with some bubbly. Okay, so why are you telling them already? Oh, I'ma exit that out. Ah, stop for real. 
Okay, so now it's time for my section of the cooking video. This is time for the real cook because only girls can cook. Anyways, I'm about to show y'all how to make the vegan ribs. First things you're gonna need are the seasonings. I like to use cayenne pepper, a little spice. I like to use this Creole seasoning because I love Creole seasoning, it's so good. And I have garlic and onion powder. As y'all can see, these are my favorite seasonings. These are the only seasonings I use, unless I'm making like Mexican food or something. But these are my only seasonings that I use. And then I have spelt flour. This is just an alternative to white flour. I have two bowls because you'll see why. And then I have a knife and I have a fork. And then I have a portabella cap mushrooms. That don't look like ribs. Just wait, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it into ribs. And before we get started, I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms. I was one of them people. Just take a chance. Trust me, bro. We have had people come here and say, I don't like mushrooms. I hate exactly. mushrooms. And they sitting there eating it, and then we be like, you know that's mushroom, right? And then they be like, Ugh, 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 and continue on eating it. This is the barbecue sauce that we use right here. At the end of the day, bro, the barbecue sauce is what makes ribs. Exactly. I forgot it. Of, I don't course, know. of course, the texture, but once she, those mushrooms kind of have kind of have a similar texture to meat mm -hmm. but like at the end of the day it's the taste and exactly. the barbecue is going to be the taste and then that portobello mushroom that has like similar texture to ribs it's going to take it to the next level literally first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these cleaned off because they come from the dirt and there'll be dirt on them so we want to get dirt clean. you come from dirt well actually you come from real but actually this is how they look now i'm going to cut them i'm going to cut them like a rib Straight down. Little riblets. These are not little, these are huge actually. You have like meat that's bigger than normal, that makes you think like, what the heck? Yeah. Like, Either this thing was uh, uh, aki or they didn't pump this up. But really? mushrooms, you know, they typically just grow. They know? could be big, small, whatever, because it's like, they're natural, you know? You can cut this part off. You can cut this part off if you want to. I used to do that, but I don't do it now because it tastes the same as mushroom. I thought it tasted weird, but it don't taste weird at all. So I just keep it. Now for the mixture, we're gonna put, got it, I don't measure. So just get yours to look like mine. Not that much. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more flour in this one. We're gonna get the onion, the onion powder, and we're gonna put it in both like that. I would say this is like a tablespoon in each. And get the garlic, I'm gonna do the same. Her skin might be a little bright, but she know how to season right. But, did you just come up with that off the top? Oh, yeah. Sneezing, you ain't sneezing. If you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. Then. Oil we use, we use grapeseed oil. They said this is good for like digesting and stuff like that. So that's what we use. I'm gonna fill it up. And then they say you don't have to uh, cook that too high, right? This oil? Yeah. No, it's olive oil. You're oh, not supposed olive to cook. Oil yeah. not cook too high. Yeah, and avocado oil. Okay, so you notice the quality change. We had to switch cameras because somebody's camera is about to die. Oil heating up right here. And while that is heating up, we're going to make our wet and our dry dry flour now with the um flour that has the least is that what how you say it? <laughs> oh the flour with the bowl with the least flour pour some water in there to make like a wet mixture we use spring water we're gonna make a batter now you want it to be kind of like a consistency like this like a soup? Um, I would say like a pancake. Oh, like pancake batter. Yeah. But let me add a little bit more flour. Oh. oh, gosh. Oh, good heavens. Okay. I'm going to test the oil now because it's been a couple of minutes. You see what I'm talking about? That's it. That's how you want it to look. You want it to bubble up like that. Now we're going to get our ribs and dip it in the wet mixture like so you see and dip it in a dry and then you kind of want to pat it on there just to get a good coating on there y'all see that 
Thing sizzling like it's some ribs or something. Wait, well, ribs on a barbecue. Thing sizzling like some fried chicken. You want to get them a good crisp? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now you're going to take them out and let's her cook on both sides like so. Now you just re repeat the process with all the, all of them. Camera back, so the quality might be different again. Now I'm finished. Y'all seen I'm finished uh, frying up the ribs. Now I'm going to uh, put the barbecue sauce. I just have my pan turn on medium. Put a little bit down like that. Mix it. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Sorry. And lay the ribs in there like this. I need a little bit more barbecue sauce. You can put some barbecue sauce on top. Like that. Yeah, see how that's like getting coated in the barbecue sauce. And then you just let it cook for like three minutes, I would say. Okay, now I let the ribs sit on there for about three minutes. And now I'm going to take them off. I'm going to put them on the plate. Thing first, let's take a, a juice test, a little juice test. Since we made the juice first, we're gonna drink it first. It tastes good. I said, probably a little less lime. Good overall. Yeah, yeah. I had ginger in a minute. Yeah, I like that ginger kick. What you think? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It gets better every time. I would say for them, they'll probably taste the mushroom. And them thinner, like a little thinner. Mm -hmm. These mushrooms are thick. But that, that's the meat, you know? You wanna be a big boy and feed yourself? conclude this video because i'm about to eat i ain't got time to be uh mm -hmm. talking to y'all i'm trying to eat my food here y'all boys get y'all a bite blessing and let me know man also let us know if you made this food tell us how you think this tastes or if you ate this already tell us how we can make it better yep y'all comment down below let us see let us know if you want to see any more cooking cooking videos from us let us know what we should cook next what would they say, like poke chops? Oh no.